Ach, sie. Hier. Okay, so, ja. So, when we start to check if it doesn't exist, then here, before closing, we have to close something that is there. So, then here, that's, uh, that was the issues. And then, once that one is done, here we just modify our previous two methods. And then, yeah, before going to uh, implement uh, the handler, uh, let's go and implement our handler. We come here, come back to the other one later. So we listen for the incoming messages from the signaling server. This is the key part now. Listen to incoming messages from signaling server. We have this data service connects. Here we establish uh, the WebSocket connections. Then now uh, we need to subscribe. Data service. Uh, subscribe to our messages. Then console log received message. He just received the message here and then switch check different message type so case here will have different cases uh, call a request for the incoming call here you will prompt the user to accept or reject the message so in that case, this handle incoming messages. Break. And then we have the second case. No. Call request. Call accepted. If it is accepted, then When it is accepted, we first check if it is the caller or not. So when it is accepted, then we have here start the call
So you'll only accept the call here if it started by uh, the remote. Uh, if it is, uh, uh, if it start. The call here will only always start the call if it is accepted by the remote uh, user. Break here should be normally here outside. And then the next thing is here. The next case. The next case here should be um, for the call reject. Detect if the call is rejected, then we do this same thing here. So If this rejected, I let if this rejected, then we have to also notify uh, the person who launched the call that uh, the call was rejected by the remote user. Then with this one, we are going to close uh, the video call. We close the video call. And then now we have to handle the offer another type of message case here offer oh here we have to add break If if not the color, if not the color, then now is on the answer answer message then we have to pass the data Uh, to that one so many cases are there then we have handled So here we handle the offer message. Here we handle the 
sponsor message and then another case will be the ice candidate depending on your scenario you may have as much uh, cases as you want this handle ICE candidate message data then you have to break and then we go to the next one this is the hang up this handle hang up message break then the default case console lock unknown message Is the unknown message type okay? And then and here is handle message handle incoming oh handle incoming call request so here are different scenario that we have to implement we have already implemented the start and the post and then we need to move on and the next thing will be uh, this one handle incoming request so we are going to take it here and is going to be a private one it's not used in the front end and here return void and insert here const accept call is equal confirm This is a dialog box that we see when uh, the incoming message when we start a call. So you see it's prompted if do you want to do you want to accept accept it. You can also style it to what you want. So when the incoming call request is coming, then you are prompted with this uh, dialog box then if accept if you accept it then 
console log call accepted then this create once the call is accepted then what we do now we can create a create a peer connections we can create a peer connections then on that one is created then we send a message We send a message of type call accepted. And if the call is accepted, the data will be null. So by this one, we notify the caller that the call has been accepted. Else, if not, then console log call rejected. And then this data service sent Oh, sorry. Send message. Of type. Call. Rejected. And the message, the data, as before, above is not. Uh, then here we have uh, created uh, the connections and uh, hmm. we need to implement this method here Uh, I will create, uh, declare this method below. To create a new create a new web RTC peer connections. So private void this we call it peer connections is equal to RTCP connections and then we pass our stone server configurations that we created above here you remember our stone server connections when we create our connections then we have to we create a peer connections this is one of the most important methods that need to be there to create uh, peer connections. So we just initialize uh, our web RTC connections. Then the next thing that we do, and when uh, IC candidate, IC candidate are found, send 
them to the remote user. So this peer connections on ice on ice candidate this handle ice candidate events on the ice candidate events and then uh, what we have to do now is to implement this event and uh, before going to that event implementations let us uh, pursue our logics so here is we initialize the web rtc connections then here when ice candidate is found when ice candidates are found send them to remote user of course we continue So when receiving the remote media track we display them in the remote video element this peer connections on track equal to event rtc track even RTC track event console lock received remote track receive remote track then even take the first stream this remote video says even stream show uh, the remote video so we show the remote video here and then we need to add local uh, media tracks to our peer connections after we show that one then if 
this local stream then this local stream get tracks for each track this peer connections at track this local stream so here we have added uh, the local media tracks to uh, the peer connections so and that is it and then now we need to handle uh, our events in order to do that we need to just click here and uh, Clear property at not there. So what I will do I will take this one private this is even Implementation RTC peer connections oh RTC you have RTC peer as events here and then if even is of type candidate this data service send message type ice candidate these are even nice candidates and then so um, we need to take this one and insert the press ice candidate and that one is done now we need to come back to uh, implement this method we clear the method here is that now it should be of type private Cruise video call and uh, should be easy busy. So, in order to close the video call now, so we have to first check if the peer connections is there, then, if it is there, then now this peer. We need to stop all transceivers. Peer connections get transceivers. We get all transceivers. Then 
for each transceiver that we have. Transceiver stop. So we just stop all transceivers. Then now, after the transceivers have been stopped, then you need to close the peer connections. And then once it is closed, then we need to reset. connections okay <laughs> exclamations here so and then we just close our video call and then we have to handle uh, the offer message we need to handle uh, this offer we still have four method to implement so Private here and then handle a web RTC offer message from the remote user. So, here we are going to define the data of type RTC. Uh, session descriptions in it and then this peer connections set remote descriptions new RTC session descriptions offer we pass our offer then after we set uh, the remote offer we have to do a couple of things we set remote offer then after that you have to create peer connections create an answer and after the answer is created then after the answer is created then answer is here connections set local descriptions pass the answer so here we have created the answer then from the remote offer we have created the answer and then we set uh, uh, the local answer then (laughs) 
we need to send the answer. So, as you can see, we are here. We receive the remote offer. We set the answer. Then we have to send it now to our signaling server. This data service send message. Here, the message here should be of type answer and then the data should be this here connections oh sorry local descriptions local descriptions then else catch handle handle the user media errors And then we have to implement this. We have to handle the error when accessing the user medias and uh, so here should be we make it short arrow private and uh, we are going to console it error accessing media devices then we have the error here and then this close we close our video after the error so this is how we handle that and then handle uh, uh, the uh, answer message so we need now to handle the answer message from the remote Here is the caller now, which is answering this uh, message that uh, answer that the remote created here, and we need to uh, handle handle that handle the offer message, and uh, we need to declare a new method which we are going to handle the message in here what we do is uh, we handle uh, the answer it is going to be of similar type And uh, 
let's take a similar construct so here we set uh, the remote uh, descriptions and then new here instead of offer we are going to add the answer and then after we set uh, the remote answer after we set uh, the remote answer here what we set the remote offer here so this one we don't need to create enhancer this one is gone this one is gone so here uh, we are just going to take this one out instead we put just the console log that the remote descriptions is set successfully then we create handle here and we report any error that may arise and then we have to declare the method private should be of type arrow and then as usual we are going to console the hero here and uh, because the arrow name and uh, error message and the error message and then under ice candidate declare under ice candidate message private data rtc ice candidate init ice candidate init We are going to do the same thing here. We just copy that. Remote uh, here we need to add the ice candidate and then new ice 
RTC candidate. We pass the data and then we add ice candidate is added successfully then we report any error and then uh, what we need to do now is to handle the hang up message so uh, whenever there's a hang up same thing we come here and we declare a new method public no private sorry private message void this close video call Uh, we still have report any error here. We have one issue. Oh, it's a lambda expression. And uh, we still need to implement the hang up. This data service sent a message type hang up data close video call so then I think the last method should be this one before we test we create the peer connections. <laughs> so we ensure that ensure that uh, the peer connections is created. Then this connections we create uh, the offer offer options that we created above then We set, we are now here initiating the call. We finish already this one now. We are here initiating the call. Uh, 
this or this here connections set local descriptions we are setting the local descriptions to offer so set the local offer then once uh, the local offer is set we need to send it and in order to do that we need to call our data service send message and as usual we need to specify the type to offer and the data here to this peer connections local descriptions set offer then we catch this on the user media error Send offer. So if everything is good now, and uh, I hope that uh, you have implemented everything. If everything is implemented properly now, let's go and test. So our server is running and uh, here is our front end. Oh, we get some errors. Let us restart it again is building and uh, okay if we come here uh, it's not reachable here we have some issues so I will do here is I will close everything then I restart again our VS code and then go to the folder to open it here is our code we have to open two terminals here we get into the server and then note remote server is running and then now we need to 
uh, restart our server. I will take the comment from here. Try to relaunch it. Hmm. This build, I still get the same error. So if we still get the same thing, uh, what we have to do is to close this and then go to the directory where we have our projects yeah it's not here I will come here to angular here and delete this folder then I will open this I will open this here. It's not here, so we just open it here and then let us start again. And PM start. Okay, it's up to date. Oh, okay, I see. We need to get to the server. And then, yeah. Then now, we need to clear this. Uh, it's not coming to that, so I will take the command here. Oh, sorry. Bam. So you can see that here it is running on the uh, local host and also over the network. Now if we just push this one, it is okay. And then now I will start it also from my mobile. Uh, where is that? I will also try to open the same thing from my mobile and then it say that it's not secure it is not secure we go to advance on safe yes and I start the local one I also start the local here and I will launch the call now by pressing this uh, call here from my mobile oh it's not working it's not working here it's not working because uh, we haven't yet linked this one here so what we need to come now is to come here and add uh, click call start call and then here 
we also need to come here and then hang up. Uh, that is it and then if we go back again and try to test it I will refresh again I start the local video also from my mobile I launch the call now okay the remote is not working and I see two clients are connected but uh, why is not working oh it is on this one local host maybe let's try to go on the network 168.1.1.13 okay both of them are over the network we start here also start the local I launch the call it's not working and the console here we see nothing Uh, incoming call we start the call can see that stop hang up hang up and this one are not working why so start it So if we look again and here should be a username username and then this color here and uh, Answer offer 
answer though the personal answer here shouldn't be a color so yeah it's false here so it's okay shouldn't be a color but the person who sent the offer here should be the color and that one is there and oh i forgot again hmm. i have to implement the call yeah so call Yeah. Console lock. Sending call request. We yeah, are sending the call request. This is color is true, so the parent who is sending the call request should be set to true, and then this data service send message. Type call a request. And the data here should be null. And of course, should be asynchronous. sync here then uh, I think we sh here we need to come here instead of start call we need to add call here okay so If we bring uh, two client here, this one and the second one, we just refresh, start here, and then also start here. If I start the call, oh, it was rejected. Mm. We hung up everything I will keep this one start here and let me start from the mobile okay so if I start from a different device you can see that you are receiving uh, the incoming call and then you can see here that this is from the mobile here you can see the camera so yeah finally we are there congratulations this is uh, our app that we just uh, created so
you have to test it from different uh, devices as you have seen if you try to test it uh, from the same device it will not work and yeah uh, that is a bit uh, this tutorial here is a bit long but I wanted to yeah it come with a lot of errors and so on it's normal that we have errors you troubleshoot them it's part of the development and then yeah so I will stop here with this uh, phase of uh, the application development I think we just explained everything and um, yeah we have so far implemented uh, our signaling server we just enabled here uh, the certificates in order to use uh, HTTPS locally and then yeah we created here the interface here our service with endpoints blah 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 and then yeah we come here so and uh, we might also want to improve this camera let me stop this one from my mobile I will hang up everything and then I will come also here and then I bring this one here if we start the two video here locally oh it won't work then we have to start this one from a different device let us try with three clients and see how you look like so I also start this and start another one here and then incoming call here so if I close this one and start this I receive the incoming here I cancel it if I cancel it you can see that here it was rejected and then I start again here locally start from the mobile incoming so from what I can say here that this application here has a drawback because it only works with two clients at least from what I've tested here so in the next coming episode here we'll try to see how we can increase uh, the number of clients maybe make a video conference with uh, multiple clients but as you can see here it's a bit one-to-one -one. and uh, that's what i wanted to point it out yeah okay stay tuned for the next video uh, bye i will also put uh, the code in the repository so probably you will not need to go through uh, a lot of things but if you want to understand yeah it will be better to go through the whole video bye